am on my way to get my Holter monitor placement at my cardiologist, one of my cardiologists at the hospital. Taking the good with the ups and downs. I want to see how the world turns around. Let's go adventure in the deep blue sea. but thankfully we live very close to the hospital so yeah that's my update for now I will try to film when I'm at the hospital but it's hard to show up on camera I love Easter no, it's okay. It's not it's not cold out. It. I don't mind going outside. So I am home from the hospital getting my Holter monitor placed at my cardiologist's office. It's right here. Um I'll show you better later, but um, it's beautiful outside. I'm so happy to be out on a beautiful day and I'm happy that the weather's getting warmer. It is officially spring. I think today is the first day of spring. So happy spring, everybody. And yeah, it's like in the 60s. It's gonna be in the 60s and 70s all week. So I'm really grateful for that. I was hoping to go to Whole Foods to pick up some vitamins and some food, but I really don't have the energy for that, unfortunately. I have to go home and rest. I'm getting out of breath. Um, but yeah, I... We'll probably just do a little update on why I had my Holter monitor placed and everything when I get in the apartment after I take a little nap and get some food in me. <laughs> Hi guys, um, it has been two weeks, uh, about I believe two weeks since I had my heart monitor, my Holter monitor, <clears throat> excuse me, um, and I got the results finally and it was actually, well good and bad. I'm a little out of breath, I'm sorry. I've been waiting for a good time to film this and I, I've been really short of breath, so just bear with me, guys. Oh, I don't know if you heard that. I'm wheezing a lot. Um, but yeah, I, so I'm, I'm having VTAC or ventric, uh, ventricular tachycardia as well as SVT or supraventricular tachycardia. I think that's what it is. Um, apparently these are like um, uh, abnormal heartbeats in both my upper and lower chambers of my heart. Um, so they are arrhythmias and they are probably related to the valve disease. However, I they compared my Holter monitor to the last one that I had and it actually was a little bit better, surprisingly, than my last one that I had before valve disease, um, before heart valve disease, and before um, my daily IV fluids, mind you. So I think the big difference was my daily IV fluids. I have had heart monitors since um, the IV fluids, but not a Holter monitor specifically, which is a constant heart monitor. Um, the heart monitors I've had in the past were event monitors where I just press the button when I had a symptom and then it recorded at that moment. But the Holter monitor is a heart monitor that's like constantly recording. It's essentially a really long EKG or electrocardiogram. So it's constantly monitoring the heart waves, the heartbeats, electrical, you know, all that stuff. Um, so it's actually much more um, like in depth than just like an event monitor. So it was really good to have the Holter monitor to see that even though I'm having supraventricular tachycardia and ventricular tachycardia, which um, apparently the ventricular tachycardia is more dangerous and I'm having more SVT, more supraventricular tachycardia. Um, so that's good. However, I'm still having a lot of dangerous palpitations. And this monitor was only on for two days. 
Sorry guys, my arm is killing me. Um, but yeah, this was only on for two days and they recorded a f quite a few palpitations, but I honestly didn't have that many those two days. It was really weird. Like I remember telling my mom, it's so strange that I have so many like constant palpitations and then I get the Holter monitor and I don't have hardly any in comparison to before I had it on and then after. For whatever reason, those two days, my heart was being really good and... So we're, I think we're going to have to do it again and maybe for a week next time to see, um, to get like a better idea of what's really going on. Um, but I was told that I might need to go on a medication to control my heart rhythms. Um, I think it was called amiodrone. Em Something like that. I'm not sure. I when I if I find out before I fill uh, if I find out before I finish this vlog, I will put it up on the screen. But yeah, that was. I just wanted to update with the heart monitor results, um, the Holter monitor. Um, I'm really not feeling so good right now, so I look a mess, and I am having a hard time holding my phone. To be honest. My arm is hurting a lot, so I'm going to wrap up this vlog. I love you guys so much. Thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this vlog, please, please give it a like and please subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.